What's going on, everybody? It's your guy, Golden Cash, and we are back with another Hunt and Fill series. We got boxes 53 and 54 of the series from our brand new bank. I'm extremely excited to get into these two boxes. Hopefully, we can slot a couple of good Wheaties out of this. I found a bunch of 30s and 31 32 33s 36s 37s 38s d's and uh mint marks on them my phone messed up i lost all my footage of everything so hopefully we can get something out of these boxes that video you would not be able to see uh there's another half dollar video where i found uh 12 13 uh 40 percenters and a couple of 90s that got deleted out of my phone, so you will not be seeing that one either. But this is our brand new bank, and hopefully we can score out of these two boxes. Let's go ahead and get right into them. But first, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so I keep bringing you hunts. Just like this one right here. Hopefully we got circulated since. We'll go ahead and cut these boxes open and check them out for ourselves. Let's do it. And we always start with this side over here. Let's see if we got circulated scents. If I can get the top open, there we go. Rip that off. Hopefully they're not a bunch of 2022s. And I can see it already. We got circulated scents. There we go. All right, so box 54 will be a hunt. Hopefully... Box number 53 will be a hunt as well. Let's pop this one open. Rip the top off like we always do. Let's check it. Here we go. If I can get these out. Oh, no. Oh, no. And again, here we go. They look like 2022s. A whole box of 2022s again well looks like we're gonna have box number 54 to hunt and we will drop number 53 right back at the bank not even gonna try to open you know what let's just see you grab one of these rolls and I will just open it up like this are they all gonna be uncirculated and they are all uncirculated all right well I'm gonna roll that back up Let's go ahead and put this box away. We got box number 53. This is going to be 53, and we will have to mark that off and put a three. That's as good as it's going to get with me uh, filming. All right, one box hunt. Let's get into it, and I'll bring it back if and when we find anything at all. Roll 16, box number 53 of the series, 16 rolls, and we finally got a weedy. This is going to be our first wheat scent of the box, that's sad. Oh, and our other box is all 2022s. Our first weedy is a 1945 out of Philadelphia. Hopefully this box will pick up. Um... Yeah, we're in 16 rolls. Let's keep going. Roll 23, box number one. <laughs> we're going to have our second weedy, and this one actually looks really, really nice. Well, the back does anyway. And that's why, because it's a 1958, the last year for the weedy. Let's go. Roll 25, box number 53 of the series. We have a dime that I seen when we were pulling it out. It's going to be right here. Well, if I can get it out. I think it's somewhere right in here. Oh, well, maybe not. There was a dime somewhere. Now, where did it go? And a weedy. Ah, there's a weedy right there. Where did the dime go? 
there was a dime here somewhere. Or at least something with reeded edge. Yeah, let's look at this weedy first. We got another 1958 out of Denver. I know there was a dime somewhere. Where did the dime go? There it is. All right, so we found the dime. It is stuck to a 2015. That is a dirty 1985. Stick that right over there. That's disgusting. All right, I'll bring you back on our next find. Same roll. Roll 25. I was digging through these uh, all these pennies that we knocked over, <laughs> and uh, I found a BU-looking 2000. But check that out. Look at the cartwheel on that. Stuck it under, flipped it upside down. And check it out, y'all. We got a wide AM. We got a 2000 wide AM in absolutely beautiful condition. Look at the cartwheel on it. Really, really nice. That is a beauty right there. Stick that over here next to the dime. Let's keep going. Roll 34. Box number 53 of the series. We're going to have our fourth, fourth, fourth Weedy of the Hunt. This one actually looks a little bit older. Wore down pretty good. Let's see what we got. We got a 1917. Nice. Out of Philadelphia. Roll 35. Box number... 53 of the series is going to give us another weedy. This will be our fifth one of the hunt. This is the slowest box I've had in a while. This one looks a little bit newer. <laughs> 1958 out of Denver. Roll number 40. Box number 53 of the series was rolling these out and you can see the top of it right there I have no idea what this is gonna be look at that definitely look different what is that what is this what is that it is war down. This must be old. A centavo. It's got a date, 1951. Centamo Grammo. I have no idea what this is. Oh, man, what is that? Dominican, maybe? All right, well, we got to find. I have no idea what it is, but there you go. Roll 45, box number 53 of the series. We're going to have another Weedy. This one doesn't look too bad. Another 58. <laughs> uh, no, this one is a 1930. And that is a Denver minted 1930. Nice. Let's keep going. Roll 48. Box number 53 of the series. We're going to have another Weedy. This one looks old as well. It's kind of worn down. Let's see what it is. It's a 1944 out of Philadelphia. Put that one right there. Let's go. Roll number 50. Box number 53 of the series. And we're going to have a farewell Weedy. But look at that one. Wore down to absolutely nothing. I wonder what year this one is. We got a 1911S. That is a very low mintage there. 1911. And we're going to check that out just to make sure. And it is. We got a 1911S. Man, I wish that was a 14. That is a low, low mintage there. And on roll number 50. Wow. 
definitely going in the book. I'll bring you back if we find anything else. And that is the end of this Hunt and Fill series, box number 53 of the series. <laughs> box 54. Well, that was all 2022, so we only had one box to hunt on this one. But we didn't do too bad. That is what we need, all of these right there. Still have a lot to find, but hopefully soon we will be able to slot a lot more. Definitely got the 30s on that one box hunt that we had, but we still have the 50s, some of the 40s. Got a couple of 50s, some of the 40s, some of the 30s, and a lot of the teens, 20s, and a few 30s. So that is what we have. Let's just go over what we did find. We found a dime. Look at that nasty dime. But that means we are nine cents up above, and it's stuck to this uh, 2015. We found a 1964 that I keep all these red ones. But that's the best looking one that I found. That one right there. We found a Centavo Gramos. Not sure where this is from, but it's from 1951. I think the Dominican Republic is where this one's out of. If I'm not mistaken. And then we found a 2000 Philadelphia. And I'll show you again underneath the scope. It is a wide AM. This is one of the most common ones found. Then you got your 98. And then the 99, which is very hard to find. And you got the close AM. Close AM. 92 that I have not found yet, but hopefully one day we will find one. So that is what we found that we kept. Let's go over the Wheaties that we found on this one. We got three 1958s all out of Denver. We got one 1945 out of Philly. One 1944 out of Philly. Then we got a 1930 out of Denver, which it looks like we've already got. The 1930 right there already filled up. It is a 40 million mintage. We already found one of those. Then we come back over here. We found a 1917 Philadelphia, which right there is the 1917. 196 million. We've already got that one filled up. And then last roll, we found a 1911 San Francisco. And guess what, y'all? We are definitely going to fill the 1911S. And I'll put that one in right now. There we go. 1911S. 4 million mintage. Definitely a key date for the wheat cents. 1911S with a 4 million mintage. That is definitely a good one to slot. That is it, everybody. Let's go ahead and show you the... Pre-82s, there you go. That's what we found for the pre-82s, maybe a couple pounds. And that is it, everybody. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so I keep bringing you the hunts, just like this one right here. Thanks for watching, everybody. Until next time.